What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another vintage corset cube draft. That's... That's not... That's not what it is. We all know what it is. Voracious Hydra seems pretty good. Badger, what up? What up? Good seeing you. Uh, Frost Titan, Chromium, Voracious Hydra. We drafted two blue-black base decks yesterday. Maybe we just take Voracious Hydra. Lots of things. Here we go. Here we go. <clears throat> I think Enchantress is a trap. It's possible. Oh, if it is an Elk Tears Arena. I think we just take Hydra here. I kind of like Hydra. Frost Titan? Is Frost Titan better? I don't know. I'm going to try... Oh, Nissa World Waker. This art is... Something. It's strange. I'm not... I'm not sure about it. But I think we're taking Nissa. Planeswalkers seem strong in this format. Plus, if Cultivator Gift come back, that'd be cool. Thank you. <clears throat> Shut up and take my money. Oh, what up, Chorwit? Oh my god. Oh my god, there's a, a long message that I can't read because it's so long. There should really be a, 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 a limit. Life's alright, man. Life's alright. No complaints. Uh... I kind of like Sylvan Ranger more than Heroic Intervention. Is there any card that compels us into a second color? I don't know. Danny, just a quick message to Mike B to thank him for all the hard work he puts in entertaining and informing us with all those top tier cube strats. Also, thank you to Mean Mugger for all the good, great things she does, making sure the doggos are okay. Frank sucks. <laughs> God damn. Brutal. <clears throat> Should we try to figure out the limit? You know? I'm gonna take Elvish Mystic. I saw Crater Hoof in this cube, right? Is Crater Hoof in here? I could have sworn I saw a Crater Hoof. Was Crater Hoof ever in a corset? It was an Avacyn restored. I don't think it was ever in a corset. I think I just I think I'm actually having a stroke. It was in Modern Masters and Jumpstart. Are are those core sets? Oh, Jay Marty, thank you so much for the resub. Oh, Badger with the the gifted sub to Twitch Prime reminder. <laughs> That's oh, Jay Marty. Actually, that was a follow. I still appreciate it, nevertheless. Um, is Mucho working overtime day? He's just working on yeah. He just works on Saturday every Saturday that he can. I kind of like Mind Spring. I seriously don't know if Blanchwood Armor is going to be uh, <clears throat> good enough, let's say. Hmm. 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 Thank you. <laughs> Badger with the gift of a stream decker bot. Hmm. All of the uh, all the official channels are getting getting some uh, some sweet emotes to use. Hopefully Stream Decker Bot will be in the channel eventually and they can use their, you know, whatever. I'll take Mind Spring. I don't know if they were ever subbed, but now they are. And that's the, that's the important thing. Do we like Leaf Gilder? Le Let's take Leaf Gilder because it's an elf. And Badger loves elves and we're already, th we got three elves in here already. So, you know, how do you go wrong really? Thank you. Oh, Danny with the gifted sub to Z underscore. Oh, God. You know, these accounts probably find that they've been gifted subs to channels they do not participate in. And uh, I have to at least, I have to imagine it's at least sometimes weird.
Well, glad we took a non-green card, because now we have something to go with here. We can take Thopter Spy Network, which I actually love. Like, if you control any artifact, you make a Thopter at the beginning of your upkeep. It's really good. Plus, all the, they did, I, I've always loved this card. And I always wondered why it didn't catch on more in Standard. Oh, a little Dwinin. I asked the surgeon if I could administer my own anesthetic. He said, sure, knock yourself out. Oh, boy. Is that better than Plocka Worm? Probably, right? Oh, works internet? Beautiful. Mooch that internet. Oh, I was actually hoping the Gilded Lotus came back. That's kind of funny. Chromium coming back is a real surprise. Like, that's just disrespectful. Oh, well, I'm taking Gilded Lotus. I mean, we have Mindspring and Voracious Hydra, which are both great with Gilded Lotus. It also helps cast the double blue cards. I think our deck's looking sweet right now. My wife's mad at me because she said I never buy her flowers. I honestly didn't even know she sold flowers. <laughs> God damn. They're not good. They're not good jokes. They're just... They just exist, you know? Dear God. Oh, Cultivate came back? Yeah, I'll take Cultivate. Gift of Paradise adds two blues. I guess Cultivate does too if you get two blue out of it. When you blush, the lining of your stomach turns red, too. That's interesting. I'm really actually more curious how they know that. Natural Affinity. All lands become 2 twos. They're still lands. I cannot tap my Gilded Lotus for that. That seems pretty good. Don't bring me down. No, 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 no. Oh, I'll take a Stormtide Leviathan. Sure, why not? Actually, Peel's probably better, right? We can bounce our own Voracious Hydra to, uh... Or Sylvan Ranger. We can block, bounce our guy, bounce their guy. Second fact of the day. There's a theory that billions of years ago, plants used the molecule retinol instead of chlorophyll. Ranger's Guile seems fine. Oh, I don't care about Whirler Rogue. I don't want more double blue cards, really. Um, which would make all plant life on Earth appear purple instead of green. That's really fascinating, actually. The Canadian Maple Syrup Authority has a secure reserve of syrup barrels worth up to 185 million to even if it out variable demand. That's really fascinating as well. These facts are great. Okay, we got Rampant Growth. We have Thorn Lieutenant. Ponder is good. I kind of like Rampant Growth here. Thorn Lieutenant is an elf, though. I want to take Thorn Lieutenant. Might of Oaks. Plus seven, plus seven. Like, that could just... Could just win a game. Managorger Hydra is also real strong. I think it's between these two. Trading Post is fine. I'm going to take the Managorger Hydra. This card is great. Unless they have an answer, it just never stops getting bigger. On this day, oh, last, uh, oh, okay, read that. On this day in 1825, first Italian opera in the U.S., Barber of Seville premiered. It's 200 years ago. It's a good amount of time.
Nicol Bolas? Oh my god. <sighs> Makes me so sad. Cloud can sear is fine. Draws us a card. Either Adept is fine. This is like a poor man's worm coil engine. JM Sam, thank you for saying so, buddy. Really appreciate it. Ranger's Path is a thing. It's only two forests, though. We're watching you as we make French toast. Dance. what up? Glad to hear it, you guys. I miss you guys. Hopefully we can see each other soon. Um, this art is fantastic. Oh, well, we got seven seconds. It might just be either Adept. I think it's better than Cloud Conceer, even though it's double blue. Oh, Jace Bellerin. Hmm. It might just be City of Brass. Oh, God, you guys know I hate City of Brass. Or Rupture Spire. Could be Rupture Spire, too. Historic Storm deck? Well, there's no Storm cards. In, oh, I see what you're saying. Just like another Flux Reservoir deck that like amasses a bunch of things. I can definitely give it a shot for sure. Um, I'm gonna take Jace. I like Jace better than City, and it's, we have like it's Cultivate Sylvan Ranger. We have ways to fix so far. Prodigious Growth, basically a Might of Oaks that you put on your creature forever. Oh, the Fungal Rebirth is interesting. I'll take Fungal Rebirth. Alright, well, we're, we're dying here. I'm going to take Icy. Icy in, in a deck like this might be just fine, actually. Just fine. I'm watching as I sit here procrastinating things I need to do. Sounds legit. Hornet Queen. Oh, yes. Give me that Hornet Queen. That's a solid payoff. Rights of Flourishing. Well, we've already established I'm not a huge Rights of Flourishing fan. Quest Quicksilver Amulet's interesting. I don't think it's great, though. Like, we don't have anything that's, like, we're really taking advantage of here. We have, like, a Hornet. Oh, I'll pay four to put a Mana Gorge or Hydra on the board. Okay. I'll take a Looter. Wow, this pack is... Mardu City. Demonic Embrace, sure. Hey, the Might of Oaks came back. Actually, Trading Post could be pretty decent. It doesn't make artifact creatures, but we don't need artifact creatures. We just need to control an artifact, which is just fine. It's probably the best card in the back for us. Finally, on this day in 1898, C.S. Lewis, British sci-fi author, was born in Belfast, Northern Ireland.
<laughs> did you mean Margaret and your son Mike? Yeah, we had a good time. We had a good time. We stayed home, we cooked a bunch. It was good. Rupture Spire. I was going to take you anyway. I'll take Fiend Slayer Paladin. Fiend Slayer Paladin was my preview card for M10. M14, rather. For TCG player. No, 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 no. Take a glimpse. Alright. <clears throat> Got clone? Grave Titan. Ooh, Maze Mind Tome. I like Maze Mind Tome a lot. I wish we could take this Grave Titan. Good grief. I mean, I guess we have a Cultivate. <laughs> it's a two card combo. I think it's just Maze Mind Tome. Nothing else in this pack is super interesting. Garrick Apex Predator. This could be a Primeval Bounty deck as well. Whenever you cast a creature, create a beast. Whenever you cast a non-creature, put three 1-1 one, one counters. And whenever you, when you play a land, you just gain three. This card's actually great. Yeah, I want to take Primeval Bounty. We, like, we saw it yesterday, and I mentioned the, how I liked it, but uh, we didn't really have the deck for it. Rexage is great. Rexage is always great in these formats. It's also an elf. So, Dwinin will pump it. It's not Fungal Sprouting. Could be Time Stop. Could be Phantasmal Image. I think we're just taking Rexage here. things in the US? I mean, not great. People are indeed still being idiots. They can't manage to stay home for one Thanksgiving. But, you yeah, know, what can you do? This guy's an elf? I would have never thought. I mean, thankfully I get to work from home and I don't have to go anywhere and like, I can resist eating a dinner with people. So, uh... Like, we've had all our gro groceries delivered. Like, I really don't even leave the house, unfortunately. But, I mean, you know, it's either that or I risk people's lives and uh, risk my own life. So, I don't know. It doesn't seem that complicated, but apparently it's pretty rough. So, I'm going to probably take Findhorn Elder. I saw there were more domestic flights over Thanksgiving than there was in 2018. Yeah, it doesn't fucking surprise me. I mean, it, it makes sense because you really want to see your relatives over Thanksgiving because you probably won't be able to see them next year because you're a fucking moron. Um, but, you know. I want to take Patient Rebuilding. This card's just great. It doesn't matter what deck it's in. Like, if you're not a mill deck, you just become a mill deck.
Oh, I don't think it's willful ignorance so much. I think it's like... I think it's the combination of I'm an American and I'm invincible. Uh, along with the the fact that like I'm going to do what I want to do despite how it affects other people. Like Americans have this real fucking... It's like one of the most American traditions there is is being an absolute selfish monster. And uh, making sure you get yours and it doesn't matter what the other people feel in your society. That's basically one of my, my takeaways of being an American for as long as I have been. <clears throat> so. Llanowar Elves. Oh yeah, I like Llanowar Elves here. It's not Platy. It's not Archaeomancer. Yeah, we'll just take the Elf. Take out Peel. I'm not super sold on Peel. Take out Ather Adept. Teferi. Oh, Ant Queen is great. Ant Queen was a banger back in the day. Let's take an Ant Queen. I don't know for a Thopter deck. Which is unfortunate. I mean, like, you just literally have to have an artifact. I mean, I do think Patient Rebuilding and Mindspring are worth it. I'm not sure if Jace is worth it. We also have Merfolk Looter and Maze Mind Tome. We are barely a blue deck right now, that's true. But I do think our blue cards... Like, I think Mindspring is really good. It's a great way to refill our hand. But... Eh. The thing is, if we take out the blue cards, it's only 19 cards. So we do need four more playables. I mean, we could we can use Rangers Guile on a pinch or Trading Post. Elvish Archdruid came back. That's actually pretty sweet. Promoted Hydra with one one being double the number of counters. Yeah, I'm just gonna take Archdruid here. That's a really nice pickup. This pack's pretty rough. I'll take the only only green card in it. Well, right now we have 23. I'm okay with this 23 and just like playing 710 for a land distribution. Hangerback Walker. Interesting. Seder Wayfinder is fine. Nothing super exciting. Jace's Ingenuity is just like worse than Patient Rebuilding, I think. Um, I'll just take Hangerback Walker. <sighs> time Stop came back. I'm a big Time Stop fan. I've drafted Time Stop three times. Yeah, Guile could be fine. Yeah, this is a door to nothing, this deck. Thank you! Drow with the gifted sub, buddy. Really appreciate it, man. Thank you so much. Maybe we can just cast Darksteel Colossus. Kerbo, we got a twin cast. Is Kerbo even here? Unbelievable. Oh, it's Kerbo right there. I open DoorDash and select the healthy category. First option, Cheesecake Factory. <laughs> yeah, that sounds legit. This is 23. 
We have quite a few elves. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight elves. Nine elves. That's a good amount. What the hell is the name of that card that adds Wooberg to your pool for three and a G? Uh, All Sun's Dawn? Is that what it's called? Alright, well, is this our 23? These are all good. These are good. Fungal Rebirth gets a bunch of stuff back. I think this looks fine. I mean, I'd really like to play Thopter Spy Network, but I think it's ambitious. I don't think we're missing anything else. I kind of like Ranger's Guile, but again, I don't think it's super necessary. We can just board it in. Do we want to play Rupture Spire? I don't think it's necessary with two colors. I think 11-6 is probably fine with Cultivate and Sylvan Ranger. I think 10-7 is better. We only don't we don't have double green for much except for like after you hit four. Definitely don't want twelve five. We have two double blue cards, and we have to hit literal two blue sources for them. Plus, we want looter early. Like, if as long as we have a green source in our opening hand, we're fine. And and with ten, that's more than more than average. So I don't see that being a problem. Uh, there is a Mind Spring and a Patient Rebuilding. times eat your words good times good times um one in three cards in the deck are forests one forest begets a second forest i'll keep it it's a bold strategy yeah i am i'm keeping it out of spite for statistics yeah yeah Hey, medium fan. <laughs> oh, thank goodness. Ready? Forced. Never punished. Got it. I mean, we had a one in three chance. And then it just gets better from there, so... Oh boy. Oh boy. Yes, 27 days for us. <laughs> Funny enough. Let's play Dwinnin McWinnin. First strike, huh? Well, that is a that is a banger. Thank you. Oh, Danny gifted a sub to medium fan. <laughs> That's, it's so, it's very strange to me why some of these even exist. That's a good one. Yikes. And it makes knights? Wow, this is like a really good knight deck. I'm gonna pass here. 
Badger, you don't have my address? That's interesting. I feel like you would have because... I guess you probably don't have the new one anyway. Oh, big fan. Danny with the gifted sub to both big fan and medium fan. All the fans have joined. Thank you. Oh, Danny with the gifted sub to small fan. So we got small fan, medium fan, and big fan. Wild. So you're just to be clear, these other knights are gonna have indestructible and they're gonna be three threes. So basically I'm in a real bad shape. A real bad shape? We're in real bad shape here. <sighs> Cool. That was kind of weird and hmm, boy. <laughs> All the thing. This is this deck is wild. Yep, their deck is very good. Very very good. Very very good. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So even if they attack with everything, we're not dead. All right. Well. <clears throat> I'm 30 and I've been swearing a lot less, just don't enjoy using bad words, and now watching certain streamers just turns me off. No, not really. I think certain words can be abrasive. I try not to curse a ton. Like, I know I, know I have, like, moments where I, do, I definitely curse. Um, but I don't think... I don't think I curse a lot by any metric, so... I definitely know what you mean. I mean, I feel like there's definitely situations where I'm just like, okay, this is... I'm upset, and this specific word or phrase is going to uh, adequately express that. They didn't attack with this again. Interesting. Thank you. It's the law. <laughs> Being Australia, Badger is Australia. Oh wow, this is a knight too. That's great. Wow, this is just great. Danny with the gifted sub to industrial fan man. <laughs> now we're actually now we're gifting subs to superheroes. Okay, so we're not, we're just dead. I guess we get to see a little, a little bit more. Oh boy. Well, let's gain three. That'll, that'll save us when they have four or five, six, they have ten damage in the air. We have a reachy boy. <laughs> wow, this, this one card is really, uh, making our lives miserable. Ahem. <laughs> Um, I have no idea how we're going to win. Maybe we can just survive and then mill them? I don't know. I don't know. I mean, Horner Queen might. Danny, let's give this sub to Superhero. <laughs> Danny, buddy, I appreciate all the gifted subs, my dude. Indestructible is a real good ability when you're playing a blue-green deck that has no answer to a Knight Exemplar. Yep. Block here. Thankfully, you guys don't have haste, I guess. Or, uh, trample, rather. I guess we'll just take three here. Jesus. Indestructible is a real beater. Sounds good. Yeah. One, two, three. So one, two, three, four. I see. Put the counters on. Put the counters on Dwin in here because we want to be able to. Uh... Actually, no, that was bad. We should have put the counters on, like, Insect, because we want the Hornet Queen to be able to die and get it back with Fungal Rebirth. Make a beast, make a beast. <laughs> make a beast. Well, Angel is not a, uh... We're surviving. This is actually kind of comical. I don't know, I don't know how we win this game, but... 
Break me off a piece of that. Break, break, break. All right, these two gentlemen and the three. I don't know. I don't. I don't. I don't understand. Oh, because all their guys are gonna get bigger. Yeah, that seems good. Do that. Do that for sure. And I guess if we're just throwing these guys away, there's no point in using that instead of like this. We're not going to get the tokens this turn, but, you know, we still get to eat the stupid lifelinker. How nice. God, they just never run out of cards. It's kind of, it's kind of comical. All right. <clears throat> so what do we got here? One, two, three, four, five, six, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we don't have enough to replay the Hornet Queen this turn. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three. Let's cultivate to gain, to put counters on Hornet Queen, or uh, B. Two of these guys, one in play. Gain my life. So we have five, six mana. We need one for this. So we can play Lieutenant, tap, and keep up Fungal Rebirth. Alright, well, that is a thing. This is what it feels like to not be dead, I guess. Oh boy. <clears throat> they don't have a ton of ways to gain life here. This is surprisingly tense. I, I think we've held on for far longer than I expected. I feel like patient rebuilding has been keeping us in this game. We just have to survive for like three more turns, three and a half more turns. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We get Hornet Queen back next turn. We have three life a turn. Yeah, the value from both of these has been great. Icy has been great at tapping this guy. <clears throat> oh boy. Well, that's pretty good. Are they soldiers? Yeah, okay. Oh, interesting. <clears throat> Alright, well, we're just tapping that then. Actually, I mean, they're both indestructible, so this guy makes a guy. Oh, I guess a lot of their guys are tokens. One, two, three, four, five, six of them are tokens. So. Boy, getting rid of this guy would be great. Uh, so you're just a 3-2. So I can block you with a 3-4. 6-7 on you. 4-4 uh, four, four on... Well, 4-4 four, four doesn't do much here, I guess. So you're only attacking... Oh, you're attacking with these three as well, huh? So... Uh, block you. Block you. <laughs> this is so complicated. I think I'm just too stupid to be here. <laughs> yeah, same, buddy. I think we can just take four here. I think that's fine. Nothing has died yet. I think I want the two twos from the fungal rebirth. Get back, Hornet Queen. We've cast a thing... So your ground guys are actually pretty good right now. So I want to actually put it on the beast. Make two one ones. Get Hornet Queen back. Mill you for three more. Ooh. 
Wreck Sage. That's actually pretty decent. We can kill the Sigiled Sword. Seven, eight, nine, ten. And this is seven, eight, nine, ten. And we can still tap with one of these guys. One, two, three. Let's get rid of your sword. <clears throat> yep. Um, what's giving us creatures this one knight exemplar? Also, Ant Queen is probably very, very good. Six, seven, eight. We can go five. Make one. We don't actually have to worry about the flyers yet, do we? One, two. We have three flyer blo flying block. Oh, yeah, I guess we should probably play this, right? No, he's not going to have double attackers because it doesn't count for tokens. So, one, two, three, four, five, six of his creatures don't count. He's going to get one, two, three, five, one, ones if he wants to use that ability. I think we just attack the Basri. We're just trading for like two tokens or a five, five, which I think is fine. Oh, okay, we can just put back. Oh, we just kill Basri Cat. Oh, wow, that's great. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. Oh, wow, we just win the game? Wow, I did not expect that. Oh, wow. Still had all these ant queens. <laughs> oh my god. Are you around Friday night? That's yesterday. Matthew, what's Friday night? Big me up a beat with that big big big. That game was actually surprisingly good. I'm thinking about doing a birthday stream. Would love if you could make a guest appearance. Are you going to do a birth... Buddy? For you? Never. But also always. Think about it. What do you do? Second creature, return an artifact, draw a card? No. Break me off a piece of that fancy feast. No, that's not right. I kind of like Peel because it's a nice trick to get rid of their stupid guy. It's not super, like, it's not super, it's actually not bad. I mean, we can, also, we can bounce our Hornet Queen, we can bounce our Rex Sage. I'm going to just submit like this. We have 17 lands, a bunch of mana guys, it's totally fine. Wow, I'm actually, like, shocked that, um, that we won that game. <laughs> oh my god so this is the image badger just posted and said someone explain this please and this is a well-known meme where uh you see both of tarzan's hands so you're like where is his what's he holding onto this vine with and you have to assume it's his his butt cheeks so oh yeah i'll keep this hand He clapped them. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's what that's what happened. Matthew, what formats are gonna be around uh on Friday?
Yep, that is a solid turn three. They have a lot of creatures that I'm not really good at dealing with. Let's put it that way. Thankfully it costs six to... to do the thing there. Oh god. Oh, that's really good. It's really special. Just very... Oh, cool. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine lands, three spells, guys. You know how it goes. Win a first game handily by uh, by by holding on and making solid strategic plays to to make sure we can we can maximize every decision and, and every life point. But uh, game two, we'll just draw nine lands and they'll go two drop, three drop planeswalker into. Yeah, I don't know. <clears throat> it's good. It's everyone. Everybody fought hard. Okie dokie. Yep, another fucking land. Alright, sounds good. Three mythics and I draw ten lands. Sounds great. Now I just want either adept. Probably get rid of Findhorn Elder. I think Primadox with Hornet Queen is a little cute. Um, I feel like in most situations, if we cast Hornet Queen once, we're probably fine. And Primadox is really hard on your on your mana if you don't have a creature that's good. Like, if I just have, like, Elvish Arch Druid Primadox, and it's like, alright, I guess I'm just gonna have to respend three mana every turn. Keep in mind, we boarded up to 41, didn't add a land, and we still drew 10 lands and 3 spells. So, you know, variants, what can you do? Sure, I'll risk it for the biscuit. Uh, here's the assumption that we can draw a third land by turn 3. Okay, here we go, here we go. God damn it. It was amazing. It never fails, dude. Yep, seems good. Here comes turn three Basri Ket. Oh, just the Knight Exemplar again. Well, thankfully those guys are soldiers. Hey, look at that, a land. Wonderful. Sure. Well, now I can block their soldiers, so that's pretty cool. Actually, Voracious Hydra is a sick answer to uh, to Knight Exemplar here. Really, running out of War Priest of Thune. That's really strange. I'm actually gonna... Actually, we can play Cultivate and Lana War Elves next turn. Which is pretty good. I'm pro Icy's real good too, though. This whole hand's good. I think we can cut Rex Sage. Hmm. Okay. That's probably good. I think we just Voracious Hydra killed a Knight of Knight Exemplar. 
It doesn't do anything yet, though. I think that's actually fine. Well, we'll definitely just play land. I think just playing 3-4 here is probably the best. I do feel like Mana Gorge or Hydra can uh, take over this game if they don't have an answer for it. And we didn't see a real answer for it in game one. Or game two. Fascinating. Three four does not have flash now. You're thinking of Yeva. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I'll just take five here. I mean, I'm assuming they have a plus two, plus two, which keeps our creatures alive if we block like this. Yep, plus two, plus oh, sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, eleven. We get five. Yep, kicking on it. Er, yeah, that's actually fine. Peel from reality actually seems decent. Um, we can. I don't think we have time for icy here. Gilded Lotus, fascinating. Uh, they don't die either way. Uh, this guy is... This guy becomes a 4-2 with first strike, and this is a 3-4. Three 3-4s four. Three do not survive 4-2s with first strike. And we could have killed this guy instead, but... I don't really want to loot here because I might have to block next turn at 5. I do want to play Voracious Hydra as a 2-3 though. Let's fight you. And you did. <coughs> Maybe we can just pass here. Oh, what up, Demovia? Oh, Rex Age. Yeah, this is fine. That's a bold attack. Block you block so the problem is they're going to flip this guy but we can maximize the damage here they could just have no creatures left yeah we can block here block here block here because i don't feel like going to two let's draw we're gonna pitch black gilded lotus black gilded lotus Yep, you can have your Planeswalker. Because now we have multiple dudes on board. Yeah, that seems fine. Okay, we just win the match. Wow. <laughs> That's pretty good. I was not expecting it. Especially because we were still hindered on lands. I mean, like, it was turn... I have no idea, even. Turn six. Missed several land drops. But... All right, I'll take it. War Priest is not a May ability, actually, which is pretty interesting to bounce the War Priest. Oh yeah, we'll keep this hand.
You too. This guy dead. Okie dokie. I really hope we hit a land now. <laughs> We're in the end game now, guys. Seems good. Yep. I would have won if I said big fan. It was very close. First game was pretty insane. I'm just gonna go to the next game. This is not fun or enjoyable. Yep, still no lands. Sounds good. 17 lands? Okay, just making sure. Just wanted to make sure that was the, the correct number of lands in the deck to draw more than two or three uh, by turn four. So. Badger with a gifted sub. Really appreciate it. Alright, that's a, that's a solid keeper. Yeah, right, and two one-mana elves, right. Like, so plenty of things we could have drawn there, but, you know. Let's see if they have opening lightning bolt. Okay, we have, now we have one, two, three. We have five mana next turn. We can Nissa, untap both forests, play Maze Mind Tome. Them not killing this and us drawing another forest would be bananas here. Island also works. I accept an island. One, two, three, four, five. Then we have one, two, three. So we can actually go one, two, three, four, five, play Nyssa. Untap forest. It doesn't untap the forest. Hmm. That's good to know. That's, uh, that's good to know. It's been a while since I played this Nissa, guys. That was not ideal. <laughs> okay. This is, I'll make my tap forest a 4-4. Four, four. How's that sound? What are you going to do about that, smart guy? I mean, if this is all you got, though, that's pretty fine. Oh, they're going face. Wow. Deals 2 damage? Okay. 2 damage is, is manageable. Oh, yeah. Now we're talking. How much mana do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Is this the one that's just play we just played? How can we tell which one we just played? Ah, newly controlled. Perfect. Maze Mind Tome. I will take two. Deal. We can just attack for 10 here. Yeah, it seems better than not doing that, so. Yeah, Nissa World Waker is a hell of a card. You're just playing 5D chat. I'm just so. I'm so. Doesn't get renowned off of. No. No, it doesn't. Renown has to hit uh, to a player. Oh, 
Oh, Voracious Hydra. Kill my Archdruid. I accept. I will draw a card. Ooh, Island with Mindspring? What is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We draw seven cards. It's pretty good. I'm no expert, but. But you are an expert. Ooh. One, two, three. So we can draw, we can play Looter. Keep a block up. They have to block. Just gonna attack with everything here. One, two, three, four. They go to one here, which means even Elvish Mystic is lethal. Oh, actually, they're dead, right? Yeah, okay, because Trample. That's the thing. All right, so Trample's cool. Wow, this is a hell of a card. They do got Trample. All right, well. I feel like we have enough early stuff to not have to worry about the stupid Renowned creature for three, but for some reason. Let's take out Fungal Rebirth, bring in either Adept. We haven't had trouble having double blue yet. We either have no blue or double blue. Or no, no lands or double blue, I should say. Yeah, Hangerback could be fine. I could see Hangerback being fine. You know what? <laughs> we'll give it a shot. Because any any big thing we draw is, in, is good, right? Like, that's it's got to be. And there's no way we draw six land. Because Magic Online, when you have five lands in your opening hand, never gives you another land. All right. Beautiful. Burst of Lightning. That wasn't a court set, stupid. <laughs> you don't even know about Burst Lightning. Oh my god, they killed that guy already? Nice. Come on, bring that. Bring that 2 2. Bring it on through. Oh, that's good too. Well, you do not have haste, so that's good. Now I know I'm listening on a Bluetooth headset, but that sounded like sarcasm. See, my I'm thankful that in 2020, Bluetooth technology has an increased to such a degree that you can still hear sarcasm in it. That's that's nice. Well, I can't attack into a 3-3. Unfortunately. Was there a new freshly brewed since the mo I don't think so, man. We haven't recorded in a while. But honestly, like, Magic hasn't been super exciting for a while. There's no new standard sets. Like, it's really hard when there's no paper events because it's like there's not these huge shifts in metagames. Like, you know, like, oh my god, did she won the event? Like, I can't believe I'm playing with this. Like, I don't know. Somehow, like, since COVID, MTG has become less exciting. Does that make sense? I don't know. Let's get one of each. Put the other forest into play. That was not sarcasm, no. Uh, I, I mean, 
when there were paper magic events, you had you had pro players to follow more easily. You had uh, decks at big events doing well that you could follow. Like, I mean, it's a lot. For some reason, the feel is completely different when it's arena or like when it's not like live. <laughs> you know, I don't know how to, I don't know how to explain it, right? But like Seth Manfield winning like a mythic invitational championship open or you know whatever the event is because i don't even know they're impossible to follow was that sarcasm I was referring to the bluetooth comment <laughs> oh dear this is getting too deep now yeah see i'd much rather wreck sage the sword of the animist here okay put a land into play I'm just going to take four here. I think that's fine. Generator Servant. Come on, we need some payoffs. Give me them big boy payoffs. That's a good one. That is a good one. Four, five, six, seven, eight. So we can play Nissa. Play this guy. What am I getting Katie for Christmas? These are things I will not discuss on on the internet because because reasons. A little note thingy in chat? What are you saying right now? Boom, boom, boom. Bitty, bitty, doop, 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 doop. Yeah, that's fine. Make a guy. And we're definitely in chump block territory because if they activate Rada, then they have a 10 10, which is pretty big. Okay, 9 mana. Well, this is what we were afraid of. Something humongous. 11 mana. Bane fire us for a million? I'm very afraid of this being an earthquake or something. Yep. Voracious Hydra. I guess that could be worse. <laughs> and it has trample. <laughs> oh, yeah. Good fucking times. <sighs> These have been good games. So there's 21, and we have to block what? five of it and we have three four five so everything has to block well you can block here i guess and you can block here and then i soak up three i take 15 go to one okay what could go wrong one life huh that's kind of funny right like that's got to be a little bit funny four five six seven eight nine ten eleven we can deal 12 here no well, that'd be that'd be sweet if we could actually haste our own guy yep no idea how to deal with this guy so we do four five six block block so we can do one two three four five six so we'd be an eight nine 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 15, 16. Well. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. 
Pretty sure we're dead here. The trample on this really seals the deal, I think. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Actually, huh. I would love to pay for one more, but the problem is we lose a blocker, and if they kill our 2-2, we just die. No, I don't want to use Gilder, because then we die. If, if they have any any sort of removal, any sort of removal for, for our 2-2, and we die. Uh, double... Two 18-19 Voracious Hydras on the board. <laughs> what a time to be alive. Oh boy. They have five cards, we have none. It's not looking good for our hero. Is that a good screenshot for Twitter? I don't know what's good for Twitter, man. I'm gonna tell you. Alright, they played a forest. They only got four cards left. We do have a wizard, it's true. <sighs> Ranger's path, okay. going to combat here oh nothing happened oh my goodness gracious we're still alive for a turn okay well that's exciting <laughs> well there you go there you go uh target land becomes a four four okay well your move we obviously have no attacks here This is an intense match. Uh, as long as it's first strike, sure. You don't get trample. That's good. That's fine. You have two cards outside of that. Totally fine, totally fine. Totally fine, totally, totally, totally fine. N never mind, not not fine anymore. You know what, I'll let it happen. <sighs> yep. I mean, we knew. Well, like, we knew that they were gonna have the thing that they needed to kill us and we weren't gonna win, so. Yep, you got it. Negative twenty? Wow, I thought it would have been way more than that. That doesn't that doesn't make sense. We were at negative one. <laughs> Okie dokie. Oh, that was after first strike. Yeah, that makes sense. Dang, I should have blocked the Rada just so they could have had...
Yeah, we'll give it a shot. I think Voracious Hydra gives us a lot of flexibility. Ant Queen. Give me like a two mana guy. Come on. Diamond. Nope. All right. Well, next turn we got we got the train rolling. So Oh, look, a Yeva in response. I'll cast my Yeva. Oh, where were you a minute ago? Yeah, leagues don't really care about what match you're in. Like if you're if you're two one or if you're playing your first match, like leagues don't really care about that. They just pin they just pair you with someone who's also in the league that needs a match. That's fine. I don't really need this, to be honest. I mean I got my next two turns planned out. Ant Queen on five, Voracious Hydra on six, killing this, and they have one card in hand. I feel like we got a good long game going here. It ain't queen. No. Should Sol Ring be an unpowered cubes? In unpowered cubes? Probably not, no. Sol Ring is legit power, and most people would take it over any of the power. Eat it, eat it. No one wants me to eat it. Oh boy, something's happening. Something big. Instant speed primeval titan. That's a good one. I'll double block it. Good thing we didn't attack first, am I right? Pop up -pa a pass. No one wants to be defeated. Oh, oh, okay. Nissa has been MVP this this draft. Actually, I kind of want to untap four forests here. And make two one ones. I feel like they're going to try to attack Nyssa here. They're not going to attack Nyssa. Are they not going to do anything? Oh, well, alright. That's fascinating. Oh, Michael B! In the dungeon! <laughs> Michael, I told you not to tell people that you're in the dungeon. Oh, God. 
Unbelievable. God, this Nissa's very good. Mucho probably deserves to be there. It's true. Oh, wow. What's happening here? Instant speed something? Instant speed court of calling for 8 mana. I think they just did maximum mana. Well, it's not really maximum. They could have done it for 11. I don't know what they're getting for 8. I don't know this cube well enough. I can tell you exactly what they're getting in a vintage cube, but the, the corset cube? No idea. Gravy T. Gosh, Mono Titans over here. It sounds like Mutual is complaining you're allowing him to stay inside instead of being in his trash. He's welcome to go in his trash can whenever he likes. I can make three more bugs this turn. My bugs alone can almost take out one of these titans. That's fine. Michael, this is the corset cube. You put it around your waist to... Are they going to attack with both, both titans? Oh my god. They have no cards in hand? So this is just my 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 block to like do whatever I want with. It's pretty wild. Insect. Insect. Uh there's no crater hoof in any course that uh, so disposable creatures we have 4, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 we have more than enough creatures to uh, destroy their their guys uh, actually we'll put 4, 5 so that they can only kill one bug here and then 4, 5, 6 here I mean this is fine we traded voracious hydra and island for these two, that seems friggin' insane. Make another bug. Andre's four. <laughs> I know I spelt that wrong. You did. You did. Why would they get hoof end of turn? You're right. Oh, wow. That's a good one. Mm hmm. So we're going to play Maze Mind Tome. We're going to make this island into another gentleman. Or we can go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7... Probably better to have a 4-4. They have so many 2-2s two that a 4-4 four four is probably just going to be better here. We just don't have any profitable attacks, unfortunately, but... Bribery is in a core set, and it's also in this cube. It was an 8th edition. Yeah, alright, that's fine. So they have, like, a, a an elf sub-theme, but I haven't seen many elves in their deck. I mean, we just have Maze Mind Tome and Ant Queen to just kind of take over this game. We have one, two, three, four, five, six mana. So we can, like, literally make two one ones and draw a card. It's pretty good. 
Ancestral isn't a core set. It was in Alpha, Beta, and Unlimited. Those are clearly core sets. I like that. Get back Hydra. Hail Hydra. What if we do one, two, three, cultivate, two, let's get one of each. Put the forest into play, play the island, untap one, two, three, four. And this is looking, this is looking fat right now. I wanna draw a card. Probably play Findhorn Elder. I just don't see any point of attacking. Like, I'm not going to trade a land for two of these guys. She can also block four, five, four, three. Like, we just don't have great. Who's in a corset? Your mama. <laughs> God damn. Do you guys know Michael was as brutal? Oh boy, they have nothing. Ant. Ant. Draw a card, guys. Oh, a looter? All right. Deal. We're definitely getting to a point. Oh, let's activate Nissa, huh? How about that? Um, Okay, hold on, we're trying to figure out what to do here. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana. I think we can just make four, four here. Michael, what about your busted pink? Think about it. All right, one, two, make, make an ant. One, two, make an ant. One, two, make an ant. One, two, make an ant. Can you imagine Crater Hoof on this board? It would be friggin' brutal. How do we win? I guess we just make enough ants that we just overrun them. Search the library for any of our basic lands, put them on a battlefield, and shuffle your library. They're, they're, those lands become four fours with trample. I'm afraid of like a mutilate or something, to be honest with you. That's pretty good. Um, yeah, let's play the land. No, I can't play the land. I already played the land. I don't think I activated Nissa that turn. Ugh, oh, that's disappointing. Think of all the ants I could have made. This guy's fine. Have yourself a merry little Christmas. See, that's a big one. Hmm. Ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hornet Queen. Make a make of the dudes. One, two, three, four. I guess they could have cast it by now, that's true. I mean, like, they're not going to just hold it and be like, oh, I can't, I'm just holding my thing. We're just going to get a, we're going to get a, 
Voracious Hydra back with Fungal Rebirth and then cast her for a fat billion. Ooh, Vivian Reed seems great here. The only thing they can kill is Hornet Queen, so I'm not super concerned with that. Alright, let's see what you get here. Utopia Tree? Well, that's gonna do it. And they floated one? They're like, I'm gonna float one mana. Okay, I'm gonna go to beginning combat. But they overpaid it. They're like, it's gonna cost three mana. Alright. Well. Ant. 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 Is this enough to just win? Can I just attack here? I forgot to get the stupid thing back. Oh, we just win the game. <laughs> it feels like it's enough, right? We have 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33 if we made a guy. 33 attackers. So they need at least 16 blockers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. They didn't have that. So, well, they tried. We can bring an Engineered Plague and name Giants to stop their Primeval and, and Grave Titan. Seems good. Oh, Michael's not waiting till the end. He's just coming oh, in now. In the end? That, that, was, that was... That was one game. I thought you beat him so bad he just conceded the whole match. Why would he do that? Because, don't worry about it. But I am worried about it. It makes sense to me. It doesn't make sense to anybody. To me, it does. Michael's got his little hat on. Yeah. He just got back from his Ice Road Trucker aud audition. Is that Captain America? It is Captain America. I understood that reference. What reference? It was a reference to the movie where he says I understood that no, reference. No, Michael, that was him asking if you were Captain America. You don't... Just because the... What? Never mind. Don't worry about it. What? What are you saying right now? Oh my god. The whole room shook when you did that. I'm pretty sure this floor is going to cave in and we're going to go down to the bottom floor. <laughs> the old basement. Have yourself... Um, Michael B, you look good in a hat. In a cap. Oh, he you. said a cap. It's not really. Probably got my fat boy wristwatch, so I can wear my watch now. My fat boy wristwatch. Wristwatch. Got my hat on my watch today, man. So cool. I can't even handle it right now. Oh, look at that Utopia tree, Michael. You ever seen one of those before? It's the poor man's bird to paradise. I'm playing this guy instead of Thor Lieutenant because I don't want to. I don't want to gamble on hitting a third land for these. The poor man's bird. Birds of Paradise is like fucking four dollars, right? Like you can. It's like eight dollars. There's no version for four bucks. Nope. That doesn't seem correct. I looked semi recently. I think you can get them for like eight, maybe. Bad. You can go on slick deals. And maybe get it for six. Slick deals. Yeah. You mean the slick deals website? Oh, oh. it's sick deals. MTG sick deals, not slick deals. I'm gonna shoot this guy in the brain. Elk Tears, yeah, I cracked the whole box. I got a, a collector's box coming too sometime next week. I had a decent box. It was alright. It was worth the value, but. It's alright. I didn't get any super mythics or anything. He got a foil jeweled lotus. That shit would already be on eBay if I did. What would it do on eBay, Michael? Sell. Fascinating. Oh, I might be tempted to keep it just because I need a jeweled lotus. Although I guess I could just sell the regular and buy a normal, right? Or buy, sell the foil and buy a regular. What's he saying right now? I think he's having a stroke. Stroking! So if I play Nissa next turn, I can untap and have four mana. That's enough for an Archdruid, I guess. I also opened a Malcolm, which is pretty cool. 
Even though he's only an uncommon. Who? Malcolm. I don't even know who that is. He's a pirate commander with partner. Ian Malcolm? From Jurassic Park? Yeah. What can you do? He's so good, he makes pirates viable. Well, that whole set has a huge pirate theme, so... Look at this beautiful diamond. It is gorgeous. Do you have three on a 2-2 two -two flyer? And when he connects, or any pirate connects, you get a treasure token for each opponent that you've dealt damage. They just primal mighted my 1-1? One -one? What? That's weird. That did not seem worth it at all. Oh, and now I just get to play Guild of Lotus and Archdruid? Oh, do I want to play Nissa? Can I do Nissa instead? Nissa or Guild of Lotus and Archdruid? Dang. I mean, you want a lot of fat mana for your queen. I mean, both of those give me three mana. Thank you! No, it's that Nissa. Yeah, you're right. Bitch, I know. So, oh, what up, Mitch? Creeping up on five years. 68 months? Good grief, man. My concern is their number of creatures. Hall Breacher is sick. I pulled the Hall Breacher. Okay. That guy's going to be real expensive if they never reprint him. Okay. We both got our Elves decks. Oh no, they're going to ulcerate my Elvish Druid. Oh no, they're going to do something. Oh, that's that's a good dude. Not Hull Breach. Hull Breacher. Breacher. It's a 3-2 for 3. He's also a pirate. Which is relevant. Do you guys know how that like sounds? It is how I sound. Gilded Ludus. I didn't even count this man. I just assume we're going to have a billion... Untap all of these. Counting's for poor people, Frank. Poor people? Mm -hmm. That's classist, Michael. <laughs> yes. Yes. How much mana can we make this guy? We'll make three if we play the Gilder first, right? So we can go one, two, Gilder. And then we have three, four, five, six, seven. So we can play Ant Queen and make a gentleman. Hmm. I don't hate it. Is maybe it... maybe Hall Breacher hasn't been added to the unless you're spelling it wrong or something. No, that's correct. Oh, there's no space. It's one word. Yeah, but they did it here and it still didn't come up. Hmm. Maybe it hasn't been added to the like bot yet. Because it's new. Boom, 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 boom. So one, two, three. Yeah, there's just no point in not playing this first, right? Three, four, five, six. We have eight mana, so we get... Yeah, there's just no point. <laughs> hey, Mike B has worked hard to get into the lower middle middle class. That's right, Croat. Uh, the Tutor Thief is called... Is it Opus? No, I'm thinking of the deck Opus? Name. Opus Thief is the name of a commander deck. Um, no. Is Something that, Agent? Is that your old buddy Opus, Michael? No, there's a... It's the second time in this fucking draft I lose oh, to wow. Overwhelming Stampede. Yep. That'll do it. Opposition Agent, I think, is the name. Yeah, fucking cool. Yeah, it turns out those kind of effects without counter spells are impossible to beat, basically. <sighs> yep. Oh, the mail's here. Pulled one out of the three packs I bought. It's pretty good for three packs. I don't know what that card's worth, but I bet it's probably like $50 at least. Opposition agent? Yeah. I don't think so. It's a rare. Maybe not. $20 
20 bucks. I'm sure it'll hit 50 at some point. Once the set dies down. Boom, 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 boom. What's boom, the boom, most boom, boom, expensive rare? Oh, regular rare. Gotcha. Ninety-five ticks on Moto. That's wild. That's wild. Got him. What are you drinking? Got water? Yeah, man. A little water. seltzer? No, it's um. Nos. Zero sugar. Nox. Nos. Johnny Knoxville. NOS, like the like the Johnny motor, Knoxville. Like the fast cars go. You like know? Jackass. Like, like the in, Jackass show? No, like in Fast and the Furious. Like Ben Margera? Yeah, he was probably in it. Nice. He was in Fast and the Furious? Okay, that's a good dude. I'm listening, Elk Tears. I'm waiting. That guy's real good when you play him early. Yep. Yeah, don't like that. I'm just hoping I can Voracious Hydra next turn for three. Maybe one, two, three, four, five, six. We can do it for four. If they don't play two things. If they don't play if they if they only play one thing. Okay. That's good. I thought you were cutting out artificial sweeteners? No. I'm cutting out regular sweeteners. Okay, we gotta get this dude out of the Oh, when we get our own? One, two, three, four, five, six. Through trials and tribulations, I found out that I'm not one of the people that responds negatively to artificial sweeteners, so I can have diet stuff. What tribulation did you go through? One week of testing it. Those real doors were so hard. Yeah, there was a concern at first because I gained weight one week and I didn't know why, but it had nothing to do with what I was drinking. Oh, wow, they played this, and our elf got plus two, plus two, so now they can't even really kill it with Master of the Wild Hunt without it, uh, you know, getting bigger. You know, it's one of those weird cards that affects all elves, not just your own. Hmm. That's interesting. This guy's also a little hard to deal with. Hmm. You got Forest Walk on your side. <laughs> You're right. Slap a sword in that thing. He's dead. You got one of those? I don't think I have one right Dang this it. second. Well, that's also an elf. Pretty sure they just kill it right now. Yep, that's fucking amazing. If we had one more mana, we could have fungal rebirthed, but... <sighs> this, key, this key was fine. I've had no problems with it. I feel like there might be a lack of removal. <laughs> oh boy do I need anything from here might as well get in if you do first I got real excited about the mana ball then I realized I already own one <laughs> it's just the other art you don't even know what excites you but I could own the cool art but it's white bordered so it's not cool you don't know man This cavern sold fifty dollars. Cause it's real good. I guess so. Just take a sharpie to the white border. They didn't do anything. This, this is very really strange. Might be worth considering if you're never gonna sell the card. Oh, primeval bounty seems but no nos. 
Oh boy. It was a mind spring if you ever had blue. Six, seven, huh? I'm almost tempted to draw a card and see if I can hit a land. Is that greedy? That doesn't seem that greedy at all. <coughs> the greed is rewarded! Oh, you wouldn't have been able to play it. I thought you were trying to draw a land so you could play it, then play a land. No. The effect, uh... I was trying to play a land with my greed. It all worked out. Well, what can you do? Sometimes you gotta be greedy. To feed the needy. So we can Fungal Rebirth, put two, three counters on something, get back Hydra, play Hydra, make a 3-3. Three, three. We do have to deal with this Master as well. Actually, I kind of want them to kill my Voracious Hydra so I can get it back. Some, oh, they're going to Court of Calling for like... Yeah, I'm sure they're going to call it Court of Calling for Grave Titan and then Overwhelming Stampede us, so we're probably just dead here. Yep, it's cool. Oh, you got one, one of the cards, right? I have a feeling you might... Oh. That's also pretty good. Yep, so they have Massacre on Primeval Titan and and Grave Titan. Sweet. They're just playing Mono Titans. Not sure how we don't die here. No, because now blocking takes damage too. Yep. And overwhelming. Okay. Fucking of course. They Thanks really for watching, that, guys. But... Slam those like and subscribe buttons, and uh, be sure to. I don't know. I'll see you later.